Charles, I'm Chris Perillo, and you've tuned into another live edition of Perillo Picks, and trust me, today's Perillo Picks is packed. And the funny thing is, I was going to hold this off, uh, this particular haul, this week's Star Wars figure haul. Uh, I was going to hold it off until I got all of the ones that I was expecting to get, but unfortunately, uh, I don't think I can wait. So there's going to be another Star Wars figure haul next week. <laughs> Surprise! Uh, my name is Chris Perillo. So the first thing I want to show you is a, a gift that I'm very happy to have received. This is R2 H15. Uh, this is a gift from uh, two people, Taylor and Litsa. Uh, they uh, got this, I believe, at Disney World and uh, sent it. Uh, otherwise, I would not have had a chance to have this particular droid. Uh, I'm a fan of any Star Wars figure, honestly. I mean, we'll we'll do any. I'll do anything, especially for a new one, a brand new one that I didn't have. But certainly, uh, loose figures, I'd be just as happy with because you know. I'm going to have fun with Jedi at some point. So this is a Christmas-themed droid, R2-H15. I believe O is the 15th letter of the alphabet. I could be mistaken. Not very strong with the math, but ho, ho, ho. Get it? Cause Santa. Uh, he's probably going to remain in the package because uh, the card is in uh, prime condition. So this is the, the first figure uh, that I got. This was a gift. The others, not uh, not so much as far as uh, gifts are concerned, but I did get them today. From the IncredibleToyBox.com, uh, this is Resistance Ray. Her jacket or her vest is removable. This is a part of the new series. You saw me with the Han Solo and the Hask Thug a few weeks ago, I believe, is when I had showcased it. Uh, had one ray. This is now a duplicate ray. Uh, the IncredibleToyBox.com is a local virtual storefront at this stage. Uh, trustworthy. Uh, in fact, they just kind of got going with Twitter today, and I, I tweeted them earlier. You should follow them because they're going to be getting the new wave soon. Uh, this is the Resistance Outfit Ray. Uh, she's got the lightsaber, which is nice to have. So this is one, and this is the duplicate. This is the one that I get to open. And I will, by the way, as you see the figures I'm showcasing today, uh, I'm going to give my patrons who are watching me live a chance to tell me which one, I'm going to open just one today, which one they want me to open. Tasu Leech. <clears throat> or even Tasu Leech. Uh, this was uh, a part of, well, The Force Awakens, as, as was Ray. Uh, but he's a short freak. Short little, short little freak? Or just a short freak? You can trust him. Don't uh, tell that to Kanja Club. Kanja Club, right here. It's notorious. Kanja Club. Uh, Tasu, and he's short, too. He's very, he's like shorter than the other figures. In fact, if I stand him up against Ray, you'll see. Ah, if I don't knock him. He's shorter. Do you see? He's shorter. Look quickly. Look quickly. Did you see? Okay. I assume you saw. So Tasu Leech. Got two of Tasu Leech, again, from the IncredibleToyBox.com. And by the way, I, my order qualified for three, shi three shipping. Free shipping. Admiral Akbar, or is it General Akbar now? Uh, what's nice about this particular Admiral Akbar, and by the way, the, one, the ones I'm showing you now, uh, classic 3.75-inch uh, scale, 5 POA, give or take. Uh, I don't know if uh, Admiral Akbar would be considered a 5 POA because you can move his mouth, his, his head tilts back. So he ta you can make him talk. It's a trap. It's a figure. And you can see with this Admiral Akbar wave, there's also Fifth Brother. There's a new episode of Rebels that's airing uh, tonight. And it's also a part of the uh, the Build a Weapon uh, series. Yeah, I, not that I would plan on building these weapons. I, although I've, I've gotten uh, picked up duplicates of just about every one of them in the new waves. These are brand new waves. Just being, uh, I, w I haven't been able to find many of them in stores. So I'm very grateful that Yak Face was able to find Old Captain Rex and uh, um, uh, Unkar Plutt. And he sent those along. Th those are the ones that are going to be arriving later. I'm not sure. There we go. Okay, I wasn't sure if this one was going to be able to stand. The First Order Stormtrooper Squad Leader. The part of the wave with uh, Unmasked Kylo Ren and Yin Yum. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to have to hold this guy. Quite nice. Uh, with all the gear there. Equipped with sleek armor and powerful weapons. The Stormtroopers enforce the will of the First Order. We've heard that already. Uh, so, if, uh, effectively, it's a First Order Stormtrooper, uh, just with the various accessories. Gun there, standard gun, rifle, and then, of course, the part of the Build-A-Weapon series. Combine! Combine. Uh, brand new. This is also, uh, every one of them that I'm showing you today, uh, these are duplicates. And again, my patrons who are watching live get to decide which one I'm going to be unboxing during this live broadcast. Nyin yup. I was excited to get this one. Uh, you'd seen that I picked up the pop vinyl of uh, of this particular character, at least with his outfit, the, the Resistance uh, pilot uh, or X-Wing pilot outfit. Uh, I've got the vintage Ninyub, and I, I'm probably going to be standing them up side by side, possibly. 
uh, character always fascinated me. He actually speaks a, a dialect, uh, an African uh, of an African tribe. In the movie, he's, he's speaking in, in words that can actually be translated. Uh, I tweeted about it. I couldn't tell you that the, 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 they don't list it as a fact, although that'd be cool on the back of these cards is to give like flat facts about the characters in the movies and, 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 and go beyond just the play value of, of what we see. Uh, Yakface, uh, aka Jason, says, I need that squad leader, Yin Yub, and unmasked Kylo Ren. Um, yeah, I told I told Jason right away. I'm like, dude, the Incredible Toy Box had them in stock and at a good price too. Better, you know, just the same, uh, virtually the same price as uh, we might have seen in uh, uh, on store shelves. Quite happy about that because it's it's so difficult to find these in in stores because other collectors or you know, buyers just snap them up. Unmasked Kylo Ren. Uh, I wouldn't say that I'm as excited about this. I mean, you know me, human likenesses and figures, but uh, it is new. It is unique. Uh, it's nice to have. Ben, Ben Solo, no. Uh, I do believe that this figure also has a removable uh, a hood, uh, so th this one is is removable. Not that I I would necessarily go that far uh, with with this figure because I, I think he looks okay. Although I think he would look better with his hood off. Look, even pictured, his hood is off. So I mean, it's they're they're giving you more play value, I guess, with uh, this particular figure. So that's unmasked Kylo Ren. Then. Uh, as far as this is concerned with the carded versions of the 3.75 inch scale, my favorite scale, Fifth Brother from the Rebels cartoon series. Again, uh, if I didn't say this earlier, uh, new Rebels cartoon uh, tonight. I think I, I may have mentioned it earlier. Um, I've said it like three times already today. Uh, Fifth Brother. Uh, this character, the, the design was actually lifted from a potential character design from The Force Awakens. Just FYI, Dave Filoni had seen it and said, hey, are you going to use this? And they said no, and they, they basically, he, he adapted what was sketched out as uh, what became uh, Fifth Brother right here. Uh, and and the, he's an Inquisitor. I haven't, believe it or not, I, I, I should pull out my other Inquisitor, and I may uh, put uh, unbox both of these tonight in celebration of the Star Wars Rebels cartoon. I picked these up the other day, uh, found them in the store, wait, no, found these on Amazon. And as soon as I find them on Amazon, I tweet them out, because you can still get them. Uh, this is the First Order uh, TIE, Fighter, uh, TIE Fighter Pilot Elite uh, with two red markings. Uh, this is part of the Armor Up series. If you can't tell, he's got two red marks. You could probably see it painted there. Uh, boxes arrived in great condition, still available online, as are most, if not all, of these. If you, if you can't get them through the IncredibleToyBox.com, uh, I'll be sure to link you off to uh, Amazon. As soon as I see that they're available for uh, for you to get on Amazon, I, link, I tell you to get them. I say, get them now, get them now. Because if you don't get them, someone else is going to snap them up. And they, trust me, it takes minutes before the collectors find them. We tweet about it after we get them. And then, and then you, good luck. Uh, but I believe that these are are still available. Uh, people who were watching TLDR the other day live uh, got to see that I had these two ahead of time, and I was really I was ch chomping at the bit uh, to unbox them, including this fin, which I am I'm honestly uh, kind of excited about. Uh, even though uh, I, I can't say that again, it's it's fin. It's nice to have a fin character in the Armor Up series. The the Stormtrooper helmet sculpt is a little odd for me. Uh, I mean, I, I like the fact that the cannon is, is, is built in to, to the armor up, which can be removed. That's the Stormtrooper helmet that's b b baked into the armor up uh, part of this figure. But it just, the sculpt looks weird. The, the design looks, it doesn't look like a Stormtrooper. It almost looks like a modification of a Stormtrooper. Because the, 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 the helmet, like, it's sloped further. But this fin, uh, and they didn't really indicate it in the packaging, but the fin, th this fin, you can remove the armor. I don't know if that means all the armor, but I've seen pictures with its chest, uh, the chest plate removed um so the, these were picked up now all these minus the incredible toy box i use gift cards so for anybody sitting there saying how, how'd you do it uh i use go dot go tag jag dot com slash free apps and go dot tag jag dot com slash free points so when i find these in the store like this fn 2187 fin this is where well, i'm gonna back it up just a bit this one is the fin that's got the blood markings on the helmet. Uh, found him today. Uh, I was immediately able to exchange a gift card. I use the Amazon gift cards all the time to get those uh, on, on Amazon. Um, and, and rarely, if ever, do I do I have to go beyond that. Um, but the IncredibleToyBox.com, I ended up using a coupon code, so it saved me money there. So I save money left and right, if not basically exchanging this uh, kind of thing for free. By the way, if you can't see the number for this, uh, it's swinging around here. It is number 17 in the Black Series, the new Black Series uh, 
series, black series series, six inch figure, as opposed to uh, my favorite scale, 3.75 inches. Uh, he's also got his, his, his rifles, his blaster, uh, and of course the, the, the helmet there. I only, I, I only found one. I only found one today, so this one is not going to get unboxed, nor is number 15, Django Fett. Uh, I believe this is probably one of the first Django Fett, no, actually second one, because I have the uh, the digital release collector's edition, but I never really removed any of them from the package. Uh, this Django Fett will likely remain in the package as well. Comes with all the weapons, a helmet. I'm glad they removed the helmet and, and showed the, the face of Django Fett. Believe it or not, in, in this particular version of Django Fett, and certainly uh, uh, with Finn as well, because I plan on keeping them uh, within the box. In fact, if you've seen the vlogs lately, you'll know that I've kind of rearranged things. This is a collector's dilemma. In fact, I think Jason, I saw Jason, someone else was just talking about it the other day. Where do we put all this stuff? Where does it go? Uh, we find places. So now our, our butler's pantry, I got rid of a whole bunch of glass crap that no one cared about and replaced it with the uh, collectible Star Wars stuff. Django Fett. Right there. Number 15. And last but not least, snagged on my uh, vlog camera, also a box in great condition, Han Solo. I'm not joking. This Han Solo, number 18 in the uh, the series, uh, the best, or one, if the best, if not uh, one of the best, uh, Harrison Ford face sculpts. Six inch, three and a, three quarter inch. Although I thought they did a pretty good job with the new Han Solo uh, three and three quarter inch. Uh, the one that I I, uh, I I know I tweeted about it. Did a whole caption this with Finn and Han, old Han Solo, old Han Solo. Uh, great, great facial sculpt. Like they nailed it. They nailed Harrison Ford this time. Like amazing, amazing job. Like whoever did this one, give them a raise. Give them a raise because I thought they did a fantastic job with this. So I don't plan on getting, if I got a duplicate, I, I don't know if I necessarily chase a duplicate of many of these, of the, of the Black Series, the 6-inch, necessarily. Uh, I mean, if, if it's there and I can get a good price on it, possibly, but you know how I am as far as, uh, uh, you know, the 6-inch scale is concerned. If I get one for the collection, I'm good to go. So that concludes today's Perillo Picks, this week's Star Wars Figures Haul. Now I've explained to you how I save money, how you could save money. Uh, still keeping my eye out for the others. The Ungar Plut with uh, the other two, the FN2187, the 3 and 3 quarter inch version of this particular Finn with the Stormtrooper bloody helmet uh, and uh, old Captain Rex. They're coming in in a couple of days. They will be here in a couple of days, so that's going to be a part of next week's Star Wars Figures Hall. Man, a week just isn't a week without a Star Wars figure. I'm sorry. It's just, to me, just, I mean, it's a week not worth living, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, yeah, which one am I unboxing? No one's... Liz, hang on. Have you have you texted back here? Let's see here. Uh... Yeah, Yakface says it looks like the Dark Trooper helmet. It does. Do I have... I have a Space Trooper over here, not a Dark Trooper. Or was this a Dark Trooper? Ah! Hang on just a second. This... It kind of... It, you're, you're right, Jason. It, it reminds me an awful lot of, of this one. How it's... it's Well, not completely, but it's sloped down. I think you're right, though. The Dark Trooper was definitely different. This is the closest one I have. EU Legends now, at this point. Uh, let's see here. Uh... Oh, yeah, I sent the link to Liz last night. She said that by the time I had ordered at $8, they'd gone up to 10 and then $17 in 10 minutes. You've got to snap up the deals as soon as they come in. And like I said, you got to follow me on Twitter if you're not, uh, and definitely follow Yak Face. I, I get a lot of information from a lot of the fellow fans and collectors, uh, and that's how I know uh, when to, uh, to leap on stuff. Uh, so which one, am I, which one am I opening? Do you, uh, if, you're gonna get, if you're giving me the choice, I'm going to choose. I'm, I'm, but I'm giving an opportunity here. I give you less than, a, uh, than 30 seconds to decide if no one's commented. Liz passes me the comments back. I know which one I want to unbox. I know which one I want. It, it, oh, that's what I should do is have everybody guess which one, uh, which one I'm going to open. <laughs> Take a guess as to which one it's going to be. Just guess. Ah, uh, okay. I haven't heard anything back, so this is what I'm going with. Admiral Akbar, of course, of course, and uh, I'm pretty sure. Yep this this card uh, wasn't in perfect condition, so this is the one I'm going to be opening. I made sure I, I I double checked everything. I've got the other ones now put away. I'm opening an Admiral Akbar. It's now thirty four dollars for Finn, dude. 
Don't necessarily buy high end. I mean, wait until the prices are uh, substantially lower. I wouldn't buy a Black Series figure for much more than nineteen dollars or twenty dollars. Maybe uh, at the high end, twenty two, or these three and three quarter inch uh, figures for uh, you know much more than ten dollars a piece. All right here we go. And yeah, there's Arabesh on the side. You saw that, or you've seen that before. That's nothing new. I just want to play with Admiral Akbar's mouth. I mean, how many times have I ever had an opportunity to say that out loud? Don't open him, Chris. It's a trap. What do you mean, Michael? Why is it a trap? That's a trap. There's his rifle. Not that we've ever seen Admiral Akbar with a rifle. I'm kind of disappointed he didn't come with a staff. Like he did, well, kind of that, that little wand that he had with the, flat, the vintage Admiral Akbar. That's nice. I can put this on Admiral Akbar if I wanted to, to build a weapon series. Almost like a, uh, armor. Well, it is. It's like shoulder gear. Uh, the, the almost like build a armor up series. Sorry, not build armor. Okay. So, it's, here's here's today's animated GIF. Are you ready, Eric? Well, he's he's not with us today. Well, he's he's, he's got an appointment. Someone can animate a GIF this and, and tag us on Twitter. It's a trap. It's a trap. Wait. Hang on. It's a trap. It's a trap. Penetrate. Penetrate. <laughs> Penetrate. 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 <laughs> Can you see his mouth moving? Could you see his mouth moving here? Oh, man. Oh. Okay, Admiral, you win the day. This is the, the you know honestly. I mean, this is I could have stopped here. I could it could have just been one figure a day, but I I'd never get I, I'd never get through everything the way I do things. Okay, Admiral, can you spin? Do a little turn on the catwalk. Yeah, on the catwalk. On the catwalk. I'm too sexy for my head. Too sexy for my head. So sexy, I'm dead. And I'm wearing my Boba Fett shirt. I don't know if you noticed that. I'm bobbed out. Uh, okay. Now, this is a time in TLDR, this live broadcast, where I move on to answering questions from my patrons. And then after that, talking about uh, the day's geeky news and tech news and, and what have you. Uh, I'm going to do that now. If you want all of TLDR, it will continue. Specifically for those of me, those of me, those of you who are my patrons, uh, and you have signed up to support me by way of Chris Perilla. Today's free podcast highlight was brought to you by all of my active patrons from chrisperillo.com. If you want access to the full TLDR episodes, both audio, video, past, present, and future, which can be up to an hour long or longer, with even more tech insight from me every weekday, plus other bonus content without ads, and support me at the same time, <clears throat> you can sign up to become one of my supernomies too. This is just a brief taste of what I'm producing for you daily. Again, Get more through chrisperillo.com.